Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Let's Play. Thank you so much for all of the wonderful support on the World Tour episode. Last episode, my friends, I very much do appreciate it. And if you're checking out this series for the first time from that World Tour episode, a warm, warm welcome to you. If you are new around here, of course, do consider hitting that subscribe button with those bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on my future episodes. But of course, if you want to go on further with the support, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get five percent off any of my apex gaming pcs so then here we are my friends on episode 26 and in the last episode like i say we did a bit of a world tour a little bit of a something something that i wouldn't mind doing with you guys every 25 episodes just so we can update you guys on how far we've gotten in the last episode we kind of discovered that we hadn't actually done a great deal of uh, smoothing out the world so it's all ready to be built upon no matter what biome it is so i think in the next couple of episodes or so, I would very much like to uh, initiate Operation Overhaul the World. Or just Operation Overhaul, for short, in that we're simply going to smooth out the world and we're going to buff up the world as well with regen stations and passive buffs all over the place, okay? So I think in today's episode, what we'll do is we'll try to do, let's say, the entire right-hand side of the world. I mean, we've already got some of it done uh, up until the igloo here. It's kind of done. Uh, but then after that, yeah, it's just natural terrain and it's all looking a little bit worse for wear so yeah all the way until we get to the right hand side ocean here that's about as far as i want to get with operation overhaul in today's episode before we do any of that though my friends i thought it would be a nice idea for us to finally give our save a bit of a usage because it's been pretty useless in this whole series so far in that it's been empty so what we're going to do is we are going to make it into a mobile potion brewing setup, okay? We're going to have ourselves a whole bunch of potion ingredients in there, and we're also going to have ourselves an alchemy table in there. I'm pretty sure we have a spare alchemy table laying around somewhere, so I should be able to get one and put it inside of the safe, right? If there was one, it would be in here. Yep, there it is. Because for those of you guys unaware, you usually get multiple alchemy tables and bewitching tables in the dungeon, so yeah, I always do my best to try and pick them up. I wish there was like a, a quick button for just splitting a stack in half rather similar to minecraft like is there i'm holding shift doesn't do anything holding control doesn't do anything alt nope doesn't do anything it would be so nice if we could just like right click to just split a stack exactly in half i mean i'm sure of course that there's a mod out there that allows you to do that but um you know if it could be in vanilla as well that would be kind of handy Alrighty, i'm actually kind of glad that we did this because i've realized we've got two fish potion ingredients missing from our repertoire of potion ingredients and those are the hemo piranha and crimson tiger fish so do you know what before before we go ahead and overhaul our crimson sky island with some other biome i think it might be an idea to go ahead up there and uh, do a little bit of sky fishing what do you guys think eh? that will literally then fill up this entire safe my friends eh? that's pretty cool isn't it so then it's time to grab out our fishing gear and it's time to get some fishing on the way so let's go ahead and uh, bar that off there and uh, yeah ladies and gentlemen we should just about be ready to do this this. I'm pretty much going to capture everything from this lake here, so let's just get it done. As far as I can remember as well, if you have hand-placed background walls going on, that is enough to stop the wyverns from spawning in. I could be wrong, but I remember reading that somewhere. I think it was one of your guys' comments, perhaps? I don't know. So far, so good, though, in terms of not having any wyverns here, so, um, you know, can't complain. In other good news, we are about to approach a brand new Terraria day, which means we're going to get maximized fishing power here, my friends. This is going to be epic. Well, I tell you what, our crate supply is looking kind of decent, isn't it? Look at that. We've got a titanium crate. We've got a hematic crate, that red one there kind of awesome. Do you know what? I was honestly going to go for the full 16 minutes here, but um, after just an eight minute potion, a single potion, we have got rather a significant amount of these here uh, potion ingredient fish, 49 crimson tiger fish, and 29 hemo piranhas. Even when we split those both in half, we're still going to have a good amount of potion resources for the uh, rage potions and the heart reach potions. So, 
Do you know what? I'm going to cut it short. I'm going to do only one potion's worth of fishing. I think that's all we're going to need. And I'm totally not cutting it short because I'm trying to pre-record content and the less amount of time I spend on episodes, the better things are. <laughs> so there we have it. I think we have been efficient with our time, to be honest with you. We got all of these Hema Piranhas and Crimson Tigerfish, a whole bunch of crates as well. Yeah, we've not done bad. Check out our crate supply, my friends. My goodness me. When we eventually open all of these up, it is going to be a whopping good time. We are going to get a dizzying amount of resources from all of this, aren't we? <laughs> I wonder how many crates we should save up before we do a crate opening episode. I mean, we've done 100 crate opening episodes previously. In fact, we've done them many times. Maybe we need to go a little bit further than that. I was thinking maybe 500 as a bit of a goal. I mean, obviously, a thousand would be a bit of a stretch goal, but that would take a very long time, wouldn't it? So what do you think, huh? A completely full potion ingredients safe, to the point where if I was to put this down literally anywhere, all we'd need to do is get out the alchemy table, right? And then we simply pop on in here, and then we can make just about every buff potion in the entire game. Well, maybe not every single one, but as near as darn it, right? There can't be many more buff potions out there aside from what I'm seeing here. So yeah, if we ever can't be bothered to go back to base to make ourselves potions because we're trying to focus on some other goal like defeating a boss, then uh, yeah, we have ourselves a mobile safe. Haha, <laughs> fantastic. All right, so with that goal done, the next goal is the big one. Operation Overhaul. So, I mean, I guess we're going to start off with the snow biome here. So, I um, might as well grab myself some snow blocks and then we'll get this thing underway. If any of you guys interested, by the way, I'm pre-recording because I will be having a little bit of a holiday from the 6th through the 10th of June 2022. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy these pre-recorded episodes. I've been spending a lot of time trying to get them all done for you. But hopefully you shouldn't notice too much of a difference in terms of the frequency of these here episodes. So, yeah. Anyway, there we are. Snow blocks. And I tell you what, we'll also get ourselves out all of these here acorns so we can restore some of the former natural beauty of this world as well. I feel like that'd be a nice idea. So uh, yeah, let's do this thing, my friends. I'm actually pretty excited to get this world smoothed out. So as always, when it comes to smoothing out the world, I like to place down torches because those torches represent where I am going to be planting down trees. That is right, my friends. Like I say, trying to recreate the natural beauty of the Terraria world. So, let's carry on, shall we? Once this snow biome is done, we'll be on to... Oh, the corruption biome. And a meteorite, apparently, as well. Ah, jeez. All right, well, we've got some uh, rather interesting times to come, haven't we? <laughs> oh, cool! A frost staff! Nice, nice. I like how we're getting just random rare drops while I'm trying to get on with this project. If the mobs of the night could kindly go away, that'd be kind of nice. You know, I'll be able to get along with this uh, project here in peace. Yeah, I would love a little bit of peace and quiet right now. But anyways, guys, check it out. Making slow but steady progress with this thing. And I just died. Okay, good job, Python. Yeah, freaking numpty. You haven't got the freaking shield of Cthulhu anymore. You can't bump dash damage people anymore. You just got to wind up dashing into their attack, you numpty. Ah, oh, what is wrong with me? You know what? I was going to go ahead and entirely get rid of this mound here, but I'm now realizing that we could maybe make our corruption building here or just have some form of corruption building here. I'm not entirely sure just yet. Maybe like a bit of an anthill base with a big old run along bottom area where we could take our unicorn through it. I don't know. I haven't really fully fleshed out the idea in my head yet. But uh, yeah, as I mentioned, oh, for goodness sake, who? Who did that? You did that. Get stupid gastro for get out. But yeah, anyways, like I was saying, we're making slow but steady progress. And we're probably oh, maybe about 40% of the way through smoothing the right hand side of the world. At this rate, I'm going to have to whip out my mobile potion crafting safe and uh, see if I can't make myself some calming potions because this is getting a bit out of hand, man. Come on. In fact, you know what? While we're at it, we might as well make ourselves some mining potions, maybe a builder potion or something. You know, things that might actually benefit this project here. It's not like we don't have the resources for it or anything. <laughs> some buffs for your boy. Okay, Looking good, fellas. Looking good. All right, let's put these things away and uh, let's get right on back to it. Hey, guys, you want to see a super satisfying sight in Terraria? Check this out. 
Whoa! <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's nothing compared to the DCU, but, you know, it's still super fast, isn't it? Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> so there we are, my friends. The whole mound above us, we might go ahead and make ourselves a bit of a base out of it. I mean, why not, man? We're going to be building a whole bunch in this world, so I want to have as many different potential building locations as possible. So then, the meteorite biome. What are we going to do with this area, eh? Well, I was kind of thinking maybe a little bit of a meteorite base. That could be a cool idea. I mean, we did use those meteorite blocks in the Calamity modded Let's Play. And they look rather stunning, don't they? The meteorite blocks. So, yeah. We could potentially do something with that over here. So, as a result, I'm not going to go ahead and dig out this meteorite. Yeah, I know. Doing that is kind of wrought with danger in that we could have any number of ways of getting killed. But, you know, it is what it is, eh? It is what it is. Great risk, great reward. The reward being an epic looking base later down the line, question mark? I don't know. Talk about Terraria chucking everything in its power at me to try and distract me from my goal here. Oh, what have I said about blood moons in this game? Oh, I love them incredibly much. Oh, no, wait. No, they suck. So as a result, we are going to see if our Enchanted Sundial can actually skip the night. Only if it can. Oh, I'm going to die to uh, finish off that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew that building in this game would be so wrought with danger, huh? Oh, goodness me. Oh, thank goodness. There we have it. Go on. Be gone, Blood Moon. No one likes you. There we go. Oh, it's as if nothing happened, my friends. It's as if nothing happened. All right. Back to the building. Or rather, world overhauling. We're not really building too much per se. We're just sort of making our world be ready to be built upon. So, yeah. Well, we're starting to hit some slightly more difficult to navigate terrain here. We're trying to go ahead and cover up the chasms that we've got going on here. You may notice on the left hand side over here. Yep, things are starting to look kind of all right. And we've got plenty of places where we can plant down some corrupted palm trees. Corrupted palm trees are things that I don't think I see that often. So should be pretty interesting to see what they look like. But uh, yeah, the progress is slow, but the progress is steady. As why we just keep on with this thing, my friends. To have this right-hand side of the world be smoothed out would just be an amazing goal. It really, really will be. And I genuinely believe that this might actually be the side of the world which would have been more difficult to uh, navigate and smooth out anyway. So yeah, as per most things in life, I like to start things off by doing the difficult things first. Because then everything else seems really easy in comparison, right? Hey guys, you know what I am glad of? I am glad that the cultists have not spawned in yet. Since we haven't defeated the mech bosses and we're nowhere near the point that these guys wind up spawning in. Yeah, it just means that building and doing stuffs around the dungeon entrance is a little bit safer. So, um, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty happy about this. <laughs> In other good news, because we are pretty much at the dungeon now, it means that we're actually getting pretty darn close to having this entire right-hand side of the world smoothed out. You can see that we've got a lot of the corruption done now. We've just got a whole bunch of background walls to do here. We've got a little bit of smoothing to do here. And then that should be it in terms of this area. Then we've got this tree area. And that's just about it. Like, really, that's it. Oh, I'm going to be so happy to see the back of this. Well, the back of this particular side of the world, that is. Because <laughs> corruption is kind of nasty in hard mode, my friends. So yeah, like I said, to see the back of this is going to be a good thing indeed. Alrighty, so there we have it. The entire world from our main base area coming up to the dungeon is now entirely smoothed out and ready to have the former beauty of this world be restored with a bunch of trees. And that, of course, just leaves the little bit over here with the trees. Oh, dude, we're getting so close to having this thing done. <laughs> it feels good, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is done. The entire right-hand side of the world is now smoothed out and we are now ready to start restoring Terraria's former natural beauty by planting down a whole bunch of trees. That is right. We're going to treeify our world. And then, yeah, in the next episode, we could probably make a little bit of a start in terms of buffing the world as per the Buff the World initiative, whereby we are going to have regen stations all across our world. And it means that no matter where we are, we're going to have regeneration buffs and also 
sorts of other passive buffs as well. So, yeah, all good stuff to be done, my friends. But, yeah, we'll begin on that in the next episode. Because, sadly, I'm actually starting to run a little bit low on time for today, my friendos. So, yeah, let's get the trees planted. And, uh, yeah, that will just about wrap it up. Really, Terraria? <laughs> Dude, legit, I want to wrap up the episode in a bit. Don't chuck goblin armies at me. What's all that about, eh? Oh, come on, man. Oh, it's going to be like this, is it, my friends? It's going to be like this, is it? <laughs> the good news is we do have one unique enemy that we might come across here today. And that is the goblin summoner, dude. The one who drops all the shadow flame hex dolls and shadow flame stuff, right? Uh, I mean, if we're lucky, we might come across him. If not, then, eh, I don't think it matters too much. Either way, let's get rid of this event, shall we? Oh! Oh, uh, okay, yep, there he is. <laughs> oh, there he is, my friends, there he is. Stop! Oh, for God's sake, man! Oh, this guy is actually really annoying, man. <laughs> Come on. He's got 5,000 health as well, man. Oh, the mechanics out of the game. It's just a mass killing of my NPCs now, man. This ain't cool. But you know what? I'm just... Oh, I was just going to say, I'm just going to make it rain. But no. Do you know what? This goblin summoner can go to hell. He sucks, man. Come on. The goblin summoner's almost dead. Please don't let me die now. Please don't let me die now. Come on. 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 He's so nearly dead. Come on. I want a weapon. Gimme. 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 What do we get? A shadow flame hex doll. Okay. Okay, we managed to take one down. That would have been the goal if I ever set one, to get at least one Shadow Flame weapon. Okay, coolio. Right, let's just get rid of the rest of these freaking buttheads. Ugh. And then, yeah, we can get back to our project. There we go. Goodbye, goblins, you utter pieces of poo. I don't want to come across those guys again. Not for a while, anyway. Remember Mr. Beast's planting 20 million trees initiative? I feel like I'd be doing him proud right now. <laughs> and there we have it, my friends. Every single torch that was placed to represent a tree has now been replaced by an acorn. So, yeah, we can now have ourselves a bit of a run through the entire world now. We probably won't even have to jump once, ladies and gents. Look at this. We're just running and running and running and running. <laughs> oh, definitely something I would recommend you guys do in your own worlds. Go ahead and just smooth out the world. And then buff it up with a whole bunch of buff stations. I mean, it'll do the job for you quite nicely. So, yeah, look at that. Corrupted palm trees as well. Kind of interesting, isn't it? I don't feel like I see those very often. So then, it is just about time to wrap up the episode, my friends. I'm very low on time now. Let's get the comment of the day done, and then we'll say our goodbyes. So here we are. Camjam05 says, You could transform the Crimson Sky Island into a trophy display since you said you don't have a specific spot to put them. Nice and simple. It's a great idea, isn't it? I mean, yeah, we don't have a proper space to put a lot of things so far in this world, which is kind of a good thing because it means we have an excuse to build loads more stuff in our world. And now that we've smoothed out the world to the point where we can build quite easily now, oh, we're going to be building thick and fast, my friends. Thick and fast. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching there, my friends. That's going to wrap it up. If you guys have enjoyed today's nice chill episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing with those bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thanks for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for all of your lovely support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.